it's gonna be uh it's gonna be joker versus snake it'll be interesting to see how uh these two match up together i know sharp's very talented with a multitude of characters so it's interesting seeing him pulling out the joker for this match and getting right into it on town and see let's see how sharp's gonna deal with the uh the patient zoning from apollo kage with the nades nice yeah using it to fill up his arsen meter I right. think that's yeah, the name of the game he... for Sharp. Mm -hmm. I love the way he maneuvered around his uh, his nair in that spot. Okay. Ah, oh, the patience, but wasn't able to get the dare that he wanted. He didn't immediately throw it up because he expected the air dodge, but he miscalculated slightly. A little bit off the mark, but I do appreciate the patience there. It was very well done. Alright. Staying outside the range of the nades. Okay. Keeping his distance, doesn't want to take unnecessary damage to the nades. He's also not over-respecting them, recognizing that they have like a 2.5 second fuse before they go off. Plenty of time to maneuver around them the way you want to. <sighs> that was beautiful, but he wasn't able to get the uh, rest of the combo. But I love the whiff punish with the forward air one. Okay, yeah. Again, keeping his distance. Oh, it doesn't fall for the uh, on-shield mix-up by uh, Paulo Kage. Alright. Paulo rolling outside the range of the guns. Tried to drift um, with his air, uh, with his air speed to punish the guns, but was a little bit off the mark with the sweet spot, but was able to get stage control because of it. I love the jump read with the Nair. Excellent stuff. No, I'm here, man. I'm here. <laughs> I'm trying to adjust Charlie's audio as we get it. Oh, is my audio messed up? No, it's it's on me, man. It's on me. It's all good. Just keep commentating the match. We'll get you. We'll get you. Excellent punish with the forward air one from Sharp. Able to get the conversion there into the into the stock. Very good patience from him. Um, he was able to drift uh above a multitude of options from Apollo. I got to get the fair one that he needed. Got the raid. Got the punish. Exactly what he needed. Okay. Okay. Oh, he was, it looked like he was ready for the roll, but he didn't quite react in time, but he did have the positioning for it. Caught the double jump on stage, Apollo Kage in a very scary, scary spot, no jump. I love the way he challenged it. Oh, no way! Oh, the reset with the C4-2 at the last second. That was incredible. Dude, that, that edge guard sequence was truly incredible. Apollo Kage very aware of the spot that he was in, challenged, uh, recognizing it was the only option. <gasps> the read, what a read. Ooh, wait. Oh my, I, I was confused for a sec. I was like, who got hit there? Okay, just caught him dashing in. I love the tech chase on the platform with the Nair. Covered a lot of options there. The Nair, a very long-lasting hitbox. So good awareness from Sharp to use it in a situation like that. I think Sharp has a lot of control. I, I think when you look at this matchup as a whole, it's just really good for Joker. He has a lot of tools that really give Snake a run for his money. And particularly, like, taking away grenades from Snake is really good. Because you mm -hmm. look at the situation with how it is with Apollo Kage, right? He's forced to make these approaches now. Yes. And uh, Joker, one of the most, if not the most, mobile character in the game. His mobility is nearly unmatched. And mobility is key versus Snake to be able to get around his uh, his nades, get around his pressure, and be able to punish him and get the kills you need uh, by punishing... Oh. <laughs> Speak of the devil, Charlie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was... That, the awareness from Sharp there was truly out of this world. Uh, able to recognize that, okay, his back is towards me. His quickest offensive option in this situation, that's the threat to me, is the back here. So the second I see him move, I'm going to dash back, expect the bear dash right outside the range of it, and get the forward smash punish. Really good stuff from Sharp. Mark of a, mark of a high level player there, that, uh, that type of awareness and reaction time to a... Uh, to a back air out of shield like that, really good stuff. Yeah, I, th I think what you you said it really really well. He knows how aggressive Apollo Kage is, so at this point, punishing his over aggression is a really good play. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm right, getting into game two, it's going to be interesting to see how Apollo Ka Apollo Kage adjusts the way he deals with uh, Sharp's approaches because Sharp's uh is he has the mobility to deal with a. Uh, uh, a lot of what Apollo is going to try to do, but Snake, of course, you know, yes, Cinder blocks for limbs, and he has, he is a very quick character up close as burst options uh, up the wazoo. So you know, <laughs> he definitely does have the the tools to make the adjustments that he needs to. Yeah. 
Okay, shield stand off here. No play from Sharp. I do like the respect though. He's looking for the reaction from Apollo Kage. Right. Long range game here. Patient. Yeah. Filling up his uh, Arsene meter once again with the nades. Apollo. Trying to tr looking for some looking for some air to airs, but uh, Sharp is going to stay grounded. Uh, recognizes that he doesn't want to get too close when he jumps because uh, Snake has the hitbox sizes to beat him in the air to air. Apollo Kage once again going for the air to air with that nair. Again, right there. Um, even if it doesn't hit, it does exert a lot of pressure and does keep Sharp out of his space. Excellent B reverse on the nades to keep himself out of a punish distance. Yeah, good use of the double jump too from Sharp too. Trying to avoid landing into anything from Apollo Kage. And immediately getting rid of the grenades. I think just going from game one, Charlie, like game two, pretty much Sharp has all the grenades on lock, okay? Oh, let's grab here. Yeah, the Roland's gonna, the Roland Uttol's gonna take it there. Was able to get behind him past the standing grab, got the punish that he needed. All right, Paulo's gonna stay, stay behind that C4 for a little bit, recognized uh, Sharp drifting past it, off to just be defensive um, and dash away from it. Yeah, look at the superior movement. Oh, that was close enough, but I'm not just yet. Down air, Kage with the stage control here, sets up for the guard. Oh, he read that with the with the nade. Nice, used the nade to cover the roll in while he jumped. So that covered multiple options by dropping the nade to cover the roll in and then uh, jumping forward to cover the roll away. Man, I thought Sharp had all the grenades locked away, man, but Kage immediately with the responding really nicely, possibly a three stuck here. 135, missed the back air. Sharp still commanding for the landing here. Dash attack. This is his edge guard, but he in the middle of the dash dance, he missed an opportunity. Okay, like the low back air. Um, keep up the pressure, but tried to catch the dash in with the forward smash. Forward air bear isn't gonna be able to take it. Arset is finally on deck. Let's see if Sharp can take the stock as soon as he can. Yeah, hit him out of the cypher. Jumping past the nade on the ground. I like how he went up that time because he or I like how he jumped because he recognized the nade in the air was gonna explode after the nade on the ground. Okay, sharp looking for this back air. I mean he pretty much has the stock deficit up against Kage. Kage with two, sharp with one. He's yeah. looking for the landing. Excellent parry to just get away and take back center stage. That's kind of Kage's sharp. name of the game here. Yeah, Sharp has to play very patient if he wants to bring this back, has to avoid taking unnecessary damage whenever he can. He has to be very defensive, but yet very proactive at the same time. He can't just stand there in camp, but he does have to be very careful around uh, Apollo Kage's uh, maze of hitboxes and explosions. Yeah, you said, you talked about it earlier too, Charlie. He has burst options off the wazoo. Immediately, look at the damage he's put on Kage. It may not be the stock yet, but he's looking to slowly come back. And like you said, if he avoids ne unnecessary damage, He'll be sitting at a comeback here. Oh, that was enough. Right, that was close. Cool. Ooh, yeah, yeah, got the. He tried to back air his landing, but Akage was able to land a little bit beforehand. Uh, air dodge to the ground, I believe, and then he was able to get the the up tilt punish on the bear. Sharp slightly mistimed the bear there. He did have the right idea, but uh, Kage was able to mix up his timing of when he landed and then got the the punish he needed there. Yeah, honestly, it's kind of. When I think Sorry, of like a fighting ahead. game character, like thinking about Snake having a projectile game, but also like two anti airs, <laughs> it, it amazes me sometimes. Like both the yeah. up tilt, the up air, and then of course they do have some lasting hitbox. You have to be really, really aware of that. He's a good boxer up close as well. It's just Snake yeah. is not the most mobile character in the game, but he does make up for it with his like power frame data and hitbox sizes up close. Of course, as well as zoning, let's strapping. Right, well, game three here, both players. You all know how it goes, Charlie, man. The winner of this one, you know, Stage choices and all that, but also you pretty much take yourself to set point. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's again keeping his distance, playing uh, optimally versus Snake. Not really running away, but trying to pick his spots on when to approach, because Snake preys on reversing you out of your approach or stuffing you out of your approach. Um, so you have to be very careful and aware of his nade timings, when they're going to explode, how he's going to land with them, and the defensive options he picks after he lands with them. I love the way he covered the roll off the ledge there. Oh. Arsene activated though. I thought he was trying to do something with the grenade in hand, but nonetheless, he'll get Arsene up throw, no up air. The, the grenade actually break that possibility. Double jump mix up to get around every single trap, the back air for the threat and the up smash for the nice. landing. Nice! He recognized that Apollo Kage was gonna try to challenge his landing catch with the, uh, and I love the side B off the top, by the way. Yeah, that was <laughs> clean, that was very clear. 
but I love the up smash that he used there was to because Snake's back air is a giant move. That thing you have to space around it very well or use a huge disjoint to beat it. And Sharp recognized that, used the giant up smash of Jokers to beat it up, and it was able to get the side B off the top. Very good, uh, very good play for Sharp. Yeah, speaking about very good play, man, very good defensive stance for Sharp. He did not want to let go of any situation from that ledge. He knows he's in disadvantage, so he has to wait for Kage to make all of the approaches there. And he was able mm -hmm. to hold that shield even against an up tilt, so yep. back to playing the stage it, here. Playing it very well on the ledge right now, reacting to Apollo Kage's uh, options to get back very well. Oh, all Ooh, the control! Yes. Excellently recognized he didn't have anywhere anywhere to go there, but low Apollo Kage opted not to go low because he was scared Sharp would go down to edge guard him. Sharp, of course, recognized that, immediately buried him out of the high cypher. And right now sitting in a very comfortable position in this game, the Nikita, did he do that on purpose? Like, what, does that, is that a thing where, like, the up B, does, does the Nikita block the up B, or am I totally tripping? I, I, so, I, Nik Nikita can actually be stopped by a lot of moves. The up B does register as a hitbox. Right. At certain but distances, does it, does so I think, I think, yeah, I think the Nikita stopped them from actually grabbing it. Really? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's I, I, think, I think that's something that happened there. I'm not entirely sure if that's truly, but, like, that looked like the case. I'll definitely have to test that later. Yeah, nothing like a good day in the lab to figure that out here, but yep. uh, and no if, lab, and if that is the case, if that is the case, that is some incredible awareness from uh, from AK. All right, Sharp, look at, continue this commanding lead here. He knows, take the center stage, man. All I gotta do is wait for Akage to make these approaches and then snuff him out here. Back air, oh, but the directional air dodge enough to survive. Good yep. wait here on the ledge. All right, the Cypher now has him in the corner, able to land with the guns, got reversaled on his way down. Right. Even when you see Sharp towards the ledge, a situation where Snake would want want to have you in, he slowly climbs his way back. Nice. Oh, yeah, he got I the love the way he, he covered mm -hmm. the space for the neutral getup and made it look like he was going to cover the jump and then, and then immediately reacted um, and got the roll from Sharp. Very good uh, ledge presence from uh, AK. Nice hold. Sharp looking for a way to get back to center stage here. 123 on AK. He's got center stage. Can he get the reaction here? Nice. Change the sides here. Doesn't want to take too much necessary damage, like you said. Mm -hmm. More than mm -hmm. as much Still as possible. Playing, playing very defensive. In a spot like this, a lot of players find themselves getting complacent when they have a lead this large. But, of course, Sharp, not one of those players, wants to stay as consistent as possible to avoid throwing the game. And that's what he's doing right now. Playing very, very consistent. Very yeah. consistent with his defense and his offense. Doesn't want to overextend on either on either side. Yeah, consistency is key here for Sean. 32. He's taking his time. 154 to 165. Back air. Control and the read on the high recovery, man. Sean moving get away with it. Mm hmm And he knows, man. It, that's the one common option. Snake will go for the recovery. It's always going to be... It's going to be usually high, right? Especially against a character like Joker who can cover a lot of low recoveries. We'll usually use take him downwards. He'll go for a back air. Let's jump back air. There's a lot of moves that he goes. And I think Kage felt that it was safe to go for that really high recovery. When in reality, you know what? Sharp had it all under control. Sharp played that game incredibly well, especially when it came to the edge guarding and the uh, hitting him out of Cypher. He almost, he just seemed, you know, to, to the untrained eye, he just seems to know where he's going to go. Like, he's like, yeah. man, how do you know he's going to go high? A lot of the, but uh, that's kind of just what Snake does. A lot of the time he wants to, uh, wants to go high to avoid going low, because um, the low is just as easy to edge guard. And it's, it's more of a guess slash reaction. You kind of react to how they're positioning themselves, whether or not they're going to go high or low, and then you cover it, and Sharp went very deep um committed very hard for that edge guard and he got it yeah and it also goes to show we've seen sharp time and time again here at msm alarm he means a plethora of characters so if you don't mm -hmm. know a matchup using the character will definitely help you learn the character strength and weaknesses yes and i love the shield grab on the on the back here earlier recognizing that it's the at best minus 13 extremely unsafe move just gets the grab confidently doesn't hesitate and then gets the combo off of it lands into the nade wasn't able to get a or ak wasn't able to follow up off of it however but he was positioned right um with the nade in hand reading sharps landing there all oh, the forward tilt too narrowly missing the grenade down smash to punish the recovery there no uppy oh, oh goodness okay. that had to be missed input because he landed he landed well landed straight down didn't drift into sharp and then he f flew off the rails <laughs> <laughs> right, has to play very safe here. I'm surprised he's challenging him so hard. Mm. <laughs> that was so risky. <laughs> but sometimes you gotta take those risks though. And yeah, it didn't right. really pan out, but at least he didn't die, so. 
All right, Sharp here, 106, 165. Is anybody stuck at this point of being hypercent? First hit a forward and not gonna connect to anything here. Incredible beer reverse to avoid the up air there. On reaction as well, a lot of snakes off to beer reverse like preemptively, but he saw Sharp. Oh, he's gonna try to up air me. I'm gonna beer reverse at the very last second. He reacted to Sharp's pressure instead of preemptively predicting it, which right, is right. the key to a con this consistent de defense game. All right, take aim. Aha, looking for that little bit of spacing here. Just trying to see how Apollo is going to come in. Double up till here. And we saw how Sharp reacted to the last time. He's not scared. He'll hold that shield and he'll wait for a target to finish his moves. But wow. Nikita will catch him, dude. That's uh, a little bit higher percent, so you do lose Legend Invincibility there. That, oh, no, no hit here. Tried to go for the dare to hit him out of the Cypher, but it was mm -hmm. a little bit too slow. Got hit by the uh, Cypher instead. I okay. love the challenge with the uh, command grab in the air. It's a good way too, because you, like you said, you don't want to give Snake an opportunity to go for that higher recovery and try to touch the stage with this plethora of uses like C4 and grenade. So if you exactly. have a way to counter it with that up B, that's a really good play. Oh. Yup, yup, yup. Snake definitely one of the, he has a lot of landing tools at his disposal, but Sharp has also been reacting to them very well. Textbook roll read. <laughs> Speaking of uh, reacting, Charlie, yeah, textbook roll read right there. Exudes a lot of pressure on his shield. It recognizes that's the the option that he chose. He's like a lot of you know typical option to choose to get out of the corner is to roll there. And he and Apollo Kage did delay the roll, but Sharp was ready for the timing as well. Because it's not just about the option that you pick; it's when you do it. And Sharp knew when he'd do it. Oh, that was a good up B again because he wanted to see how Kage was gonna try to avoid Sharp specifically, possibly rolling. So I tried to go up B. What a I was gonna say, what a wave bounce land. Wait, wait, uh, wave land. Down smash, but unfortunately missing it. Kage with the back air, one stock a piece. If I was like sharp, said, I'd be pissed. <laughs> 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 that was just silly interaction, but good stuff. That was very Kage silly. That bear off. Oh, oh no. no! Tragedy! Tragedy strikes. My goodness. You want to talk about serious? Want to talk about silly interaction, man? That's a tragedy and a silly interaction. Yeah. Unfortunately, sharp losing that, giving Kage the two-two, and now the game five scenario here. Looks like Kage's uh, been blessed with a very early SD from Sharp. Going to take it to a game five. Let's see if if that's going to, I don't know. We'll, we'll see if that shakes up Sharp or not. I'd assume not, but we'll see. Sometimes let me ask you, let me, let me, let me something ask you, Charlie, here. You you being a top player, you know, I could go on and on about your resume, but being a high, player, higher level player. How, how would you, very top. how would, how would you, and you top in my book. Look, how would you, how would you keep your mind composed after something like that? It's a little bit difficult sometimes, but you really just kind of have to focus on the game. Um, you know, it happened. Uh, you just can't let the emotion get the better of you. But it is, you know, it's easier said than done. But I, I believe in Sharp's ability. If you practice enough, honestly, you don't even have time to get emotional. So, and, and I know Sharp is definitely one of the hardest workers right now in the in the uh, online scene. So let, let's see if he can bring this back. But AK playing incredible. That, that definitely probably gave him the confidence boost he needed as well um, in this in this game five scenario. He's playing a lot uh, a lot more safe right now. Okay. Go for a landing here. Sharp. That's the one thing I like about Sharp. He kind of watches his landings. He'll either delay with an empty hop. He'll, he'll, he'll delay with a double jump just so mm -hmm. he can avoid C4 or the dash attack. And like you said, Snake has some really good boxing tools in the neutral. So if Sharp is constantly aware of those grenades and how they're placed and those boxing tools, dash attacks, all those things, with the way that he's landing, he never has to worry about getting hit by them. I really like the, the dynamic these two are showing in neutral right now. Sharp is staying right outside the range or right yeah, within the yes. range of, of, of Snake's dash attack and burst options. Dash attack, which is the main burst option, right? And yeah. His, uh, and, his, and his nades. And yeah, look at that. He'll go for take aim. Yeah, and he's always ready for the dash attack as well. But because he because he's ready for it, Apollo Kage isn't using it as much. He isn't yeah. doing it in spots where you typically expect it because Sharp is spacing himself around it. And wow, he's going to get that landing with the up tilt. A very awkward situation there, but Apollo Kage is going to capitalize in that spot. And he is going to go up a stock in this game five scenario. All right, Sharp on the landing here. Trying to find an opportunity to get in. He did lose the stock 133, like you said, consistency is key. But also, you gotta make sure you're composed. He's been doing an excellent job of warning the grenades on the stage. How he gets a round sharp to take the stock as the, I'm sorry, uh, Kage, is the bigger question indeed. Oh no, oh, please no. don't tell me where no, you're no, seeing. No, no, yeah, no, no, we no, not in five. Oh. A few moments later. Mostly the main draw is just the, the educational content.
And it looks like Apollo Kage is going to be taking that 3-2 over Sharp. Uh, very interesting uh, matchup. I really wish I could have seen the closing moments of Game 5, but I guess not. <laughs> Um, good stuff to good stuff to AK for for pulling it through. Very tragic uh, game four and.